William Arlotti pour le Fashion Post avec Guillaume Rodriguez Bernat. Nous allons parler de la nuit. We are going to talk about the night. Yeah. Could you tell me why the name of your collection is moreover in French? La nuit. There is a link with French literature? Yes, actually, uh, I've been inspired by uh, Jean-Philippe Rameau and this poem, Hymne la nuit, which really reflects the... the really touches me so I really wanted to reflect this aurea and this this station uh, that Jean-Philippe Rameau is, is writing on the poem and uh, of course this actually the title is is, is in French because um, this collection has a lot of uh, that shares many many points of the collection that in in, in, in France basically starting uh, with a the influence that I get from the, the silhouette from Christian Dior and Mr. Balenciaga. Uh, and of course, that uh, this, this, this silhouette at the same time, it's, been, uh, it's something that has been uh, created in the, in the high society. And of course, the blue is the, the color of high society, but the blue also is the color of the night. So I'm just kind of mixing... And the blue is the color of believe and true. Exactly. Uh, so that's why uh, uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just getting surrounded by, by all these, these uh, things that really... Uh, yeah, the, the, the Spanish vibration of your collection <laughs> is a reveal too, you know? Because when we have a look at the history of fashion, there is the black Spanish costume yeah, with yeah. moreover the follow on the back and this kind of line attitude to be on a social statement and to be in not bourgeoisie, but to be on the high level yeah. of the society. But you twist this vibration with like a new romanticism and moreover it's a man collection it's yeah. amazing because you use some Balenciaga baby doll proportion yeah. focus on the back and you mix it and you translate it to men why this <laughs> focus to men well I think that uh, if this collection were <coughs> in the in the if this collection were not men's were it wouldn't be much fun for me either so and otherwise, I think that now is the moment in fashion, for, almost for 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 menswear, uh, to be more honest with ourselves. And this just happens because we are not uh, into cliches anymore. I think that society is not into cliches anymore, and uh, and not also the the fashion industry. Uh, this fact of 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 freedom just help us to be more confident with ourselves which is just really an exercise an, an intern exercise of just be whatever you want to be and, and fashion has to to bring space for everyone and, and of course there's a lot of men in, and I'm sure of that that would love to to have this old lady elegance too on my point of view your collection tastes the question of youngness. When the first look appears last night on the show, yeah. I have this feedback about the movie from Visconti, mm -hmm. Mort à Venise. You know, there is this kind yeah. of uh, a new teenager, extremely blonde, extremely romantic, extremely sweet. And there is a link between the past and the present with yeah, Balenciaga, cool. Dior. And I have this emotional movie vision. Thank you. Is it true, or I, I am in a... No, no, no. Have you, have you <laughs> saw this movie, More à Venise? No, I'm sorry. You have to watch it. Okay, I yeah. will do it. I have to write it on my list of things to do <laughs> when I'm back to... Okay. So, um, actually, um, of course, the collection, there's, there's a romantic thing on the collection. But basically, because this is one of my points, identity as a designer. Uh, and of course, as a person, I guess. Uh, and I really love to look at the past to make the future bolder. This is this would be one of my statements as designer. Uh, sometimes we just I don't know. It's not like, of course, you have to look at the future, but I don't know. I just feel comfortable just by playing with the past, playing with the future, playing with genders, playing with identity, colors, materials, blah blah blah. So it's. 
I don't know how to. Yes, but the 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 first axis is your yeah, is your expertise, your tailor expertise. Mm -hmm. You have the sense of the shape, the sense of the volume. It's like a haute couture project. Yeah, actually, I've been working with with uh, with uh, people from my team who really uh, helped me uh, just by fitting after fitting after fitting just to find the perfect volume and the perfect uh, jacket, I would say, for this collection. Mm -hmm. So at the end, it's just a teamwork. I'm not working alone because designers, we cannot work alone. Now, I would like to talk about the link between the fragrance and your collection. Okay. Could you tell me what is your interpretation? Because the name of your fragrances is Gender Trouble. Mm -hmm. Why there is a gender <laughs> trouble? <laughs> well, Ian, I'm so curious. No, I just... <laughs> but you are, a, you are a, a huge artist, so you can express yourself. Yes, of course. Actually, I was... Um, when I was uh, sending my, my, uh, my briefings to Jodivan, I was thinking, okay, I have to... At some point, I have to reflect my collection in a fragrance. And I was looking, okay, so I'm playing with gender, so let's see what's really... So I was mixing uh, strongly woody and masculinity essence with some touch of flower, flowery fragrances, more more fr more free and more like ladylike, I would say. And I really wanted to. I was curious about okay, let what happens if we mix them in the same fragrance? Uh, and this is the result. Actually, it's the first sample. We didn't work anymore because the first sample was to me was perfectly done and and I really love to to work with 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 these uh, perfumers I know that blue is a really important color for you yeah, what is. is the fragrance of blue oh. I think I have to work more for it's for a mystery in fact and it I will be a conclusion so. well, but that's okay. ever a touch of mystery in creation that's the best. Thank you so much, Guillaume. Thank you for and your hope time. to see you next time, next season, and good luck. Thank you. Merci.